Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and I'm here to announce an upcoming Let's Play series. Grand Theft Auto V! Yeah, I've been doing a lot of testing with it over the last couple months in secret, and, well, I finally got it ready for an LP. What do you mean you don't believe me? I have the physical copy of the game. It's right here. Did I fool any of you? Did you really think I would actually play Grand Theft Auto? Okay, just screwing with you viewers. Uh, let's, uh, let's show the real game then. Well, it's finally time for the end of the Ted Wolves era in my LPs. He will be missed. The last game he translated that I have yet to LP. Super Mario RPG! My second most requested LP next to Legend of Dragoon. You guys have been waiting for this one for a long time. Well, it's finally here. I plan to make this into a side LP following Act Razor. I've done a couple test runs on the game, and I think I have everything pretty well optimized. This will be a 100% playthrough. I'll be showing all the secrets, mini games, side quests, equipment, rare items, hidden chests, everything. You name it. Although, I, I can't be cer absolutely certain that I know all the secrets. I mean, I've researched a lot of different sources, so I think I know everything that's out there, but I don't suppose it's possible I could miss something. I mean, there's just so many little secrets in the game. So, well, hopefully I, I know most, uh, no, most of them. As of now, uh, the only thing that I can't do in this game is get the super suit legit. Where is my super suit? Nah. Uh, not, not that I really need the super suit, but, uh, well, it would be nice. And, but anyway, uh, I am done with the testing, and, but I will see if I can practice enough to get the super suit legit before I start the LP. I did get the uh, attack scarf from doing 30 super jumps, but not 100. Nah, I can't do that. At least not right now. Uh, so I, if I can't get the 100 super jumps, then, well, I'm not really going to worry about it. I mean, I am going to fully power up the basic jump special, and I'll try to use all the other party members relatively evenly, though some will be used more than others. And if you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. Now, there is one other matter to attend to. I'm still waiting for Final Fantasy X HD to be released, and that's fine, you know, get a little more polish on there, you know. You know, release game too early, bad game's always gonna be a bad game, so. But, uh, anyway, so, with Hex's Force going on, I would imagine there's gonna be a gap between that and Final Fantasy X in my main LPs. So, I thought I'd do a poll of what games I I am considering to LP during that gap. I've put a link to it on my forums in the video description there. Now, obviously, the game that I would choose would have to be a short game, something suitable to drop down to a side LP when Final Fantasy X HD is released so I can start that LP on day one. Now, I've got five ideas for the games in alphabetical order. Uh, first is Alundra. Uh, honestly, I don't really know that much about the game. I've never played it before, uh, but I've heard it's like a Zelda game with a plot. So, yeah, that interests me. It sounds like it'd be easy to record, uh, localized by Working Designs, the same guys who did Lunar, so it sounds like it could be fun. The second game is Final Fantasy, The Four Heroes of Light. I've played a bit of this game, and well, I liked what I saw there. Uh, obviously, it's a big tribute to uh, the 8-bit old-school JRPGs. I mean, really old-school. Although, they use the DS-style graphics, but you know what I mean. And I think the timing of that LP could be really good, too, with uh, the imminent release of the spiritual sequel, Bravely Default, which I'm also interested in. Third, we have Parasite Eve. This is about as close to survival horror as I get. Not that I really consider it survival horror, but well, you know what I mean. Back in the day when Squaresoft could do no wrong, I played pretty much everything they did. Even the spin-offs. Nowadays, not so much. I liked the uh, action RPG combat in the game. The plot, the music and everything. It was a nice short game. Heck, I'm even willing to overlook the modern-day setting of the game, and I usually hate that in a 
JRPG, but it works there. Four, I have uh, Secret of Evermore. I've gotten quite a few requests for this one. As the title suggests, it's a lot like Secret of Mana, but it's a Western-developed de JRPG by Squaresoft. Uh, it's got a lot more plot than Secret of Mana, more character development, more refined mechanics, so I really like how they handled the game. And finally, we have The Seventh Saga. This game is harder than Dragon Warrior 2. Much harder. It would easily be my most difficult LP yet. Maybe the most grinding I've had to do since Diz Gaia. I mean, other than that, pretty much, yeah, this game's going to require a lot of grinding there. Although, it does have a lot of little neat quirks that make it interesting to me. And, well, I know how you guys like to watch me suffer. So, let me know what you think in the poll there. Um, I'm not going to manually count votes here on YouTube. You'll just uh, have to vote in the topic on my forums in the video description there. And just so you know, guys, I'm, I'm not going to make an announcement of the winner of the poll until I decide to LP the game, so I, I don't get your hopes up for that. Um, and, I mean, the reason is because, well, there's no guarantee that the winner will become an LP. Like, with Alundra, for example, I mean, I've never played the game before, I'm, I don't know if I'll like it or not. I mean, if I don't like it, I'm, I'm not gonna make the LP there. I'm not just gonna play a game just because it'll get me more views or something like that. I mean, I, I, I want to do the games that I like to do for fun. I mean, I'll listen to you guys, and I'll at least uh, check out whichever game wins the poll, but in the end, I'm going to play the games that I like. So, thanks for your participation in the poll, viewers, and have a good day.